Okay, we're back. Now, let me move this stuff out of the way. That's stuff I was using with my special sauce. All right. This here is about a cup, two cups of sauerkraut in the bag, barrel cured. It's made by a bunch of different people. I think this one's Flanagan or somebody, Chris Kraut, but it's just, it don't have none of that caraway seeds or none of that stuff. It's just regular old Bavarian style sauerkraut. Here is a, not a sweet onion, you can't use the sweet onions on this. And I'm from Vida, Georgia. I'm telling you, you can't use sweet onion. Well, you can. Go ahead if you want. It don't matter. I'm not. I don't use it. So we're gonna uh, saute these onions in this here, this here pan with about I don't know a couple. I don't know, just that much olive oil. And we're gonna put them in there, and we're gonna caramelize these onions for about I don't know 45 minutes or so, whatever it takes to get them just to where they're just to where they're caramelized, and then. This is a story here. My wife loves sauerkraut too. I like to rinse it. She don't like it rinsed. I like to put it with onions, and so we compromise. I don't. I don't rinse it. I leave her kraut juice in there, and she'll eat it with the sautéed onions, with the caramelized onions. So anyway, it'll take about 30 minutes, 20 minutes to do do these onions, and when they're nice and brown, oh. Goodness, look at this poor dog. Yeah, oh, is it going to focus? Ah, there we go. It takes a second to focus. So anyway, I'll give her a piece of uh, celery when we get back, turn the heat up just a little bit, because you got to cook these really slow. And they, get that fork in here. They will turn out wonderful. Now, if you want to cheat, and I learned this from Bobby Flay, if you want to cheat, you can just sprinkle, just sprinkle, some white sugar on there. I don't do that often unless I've messed up and ruined something, then I do. But anyway, that's that, that that's a quicker method. But these onions got pretty much pretty much bunch of sugar in them anyway. So anyway, we're gonna caramelize them, add the add the sauerkraut, and then we're gonna make ourselves a Reuben. A Reuben. All right, we'll be back. Well, I'm listening to reports. We've had three rock climbers die in western North Carolina over this holiday season. And I guess they get here and they don't know what they're doing. Bless their families' hearts. <laughs> That's bad. Anyway, now here, here's about halfway through. Uh, one thing I want to tell you, don't salt this these onions because this sauerkraut already has a pile of salt in it. And so... That's why I always like to rinse it to get some of that salt out of there. But I don't rinse it now because my wife don't like it rinsed. Anyway, uh, don't don't salt it. If you want to put a little sugar on it, speed up the the caramelization. That's up to you. Anyway, I ain't doing it tonight. We'll be back. Okay, now look at that wonderful brown color of those caramelized onions. All right, look at that. That's just gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna dump. It's like a cup and a half, cause I'm only gonna make two big sandwiches. It's like a cup and a half of half of undrained uh, sauerkraut. It's, it's, anyway, I'm not even gonna. I was gonna say it's better if you drain it, but anyway, I use I used to drain it and rinse it. But my wife, she's from, she's of German uh, uh, heritage there, so she likes hers. And she likes it in the Bavarian way. So anyway. I'm going to stir all this up, get it hot, and we're going to make ourselves some Reubens. Uh, well, you know, I have to incorporate this. It'll have to simmer for about 15, 20 minutes along with these onions. All right, we'll be back. You know, I talk to people all the time that say, Man, I love a Reuben. They are the greatest things in the world. We got, I dried the sauerkraut out there in the oven. But... I tell you what, more times than not, I have heard, yeah, man, ain't new. you melt that Swiss cheese on there, ain't that good? They go, I don't like Swiss cheese. <laughs> I go, Shelby, this uh, German dog will eat Swiss cheese. And they say, nope, don't like Swiss cheese. I say, well, you ain't never had no Reuben. And then they start arguing about it. I hate to argue. Oh, mine didn't have no Swiss cheese on it. Well, 
if you're lucky, it had Emmentaler, which is the better Swiss cheese. That Swiss cheese on, th on uh, the original Reuben had Emmentaler. And this is this is pretty close. This is sharp cheddar from Bavaria. Boar's head, corned beef. We got some seeded rye, and there's that dried out uh, sauerkraut. All right, we're going to make these. I'm going to put them on this pan and bake them. And then you're going to see what melted Swiss cheese. I ain't never eat no Swiss. I hate Swiss cheese. God, man, I hate people say they hate food. It, it kills me. I mean, I don't hate anything. I, I don't like rutabaggers, but I don't hate them. Anyway, I digress. All right. Even dollar Swiss will be back. Okay. Here are two Rubens. There's a piece of rye bread under there. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, yes, there it is. A little shy bread called rye bread. It's under there. Now, what we're going to do here is put two slices of sharp cheddar cheese. You can tell it's sharp because the bigger them holes, <laughs> the sharper it is. Dang, them Germans and Bavarians know how to make some cheese. Well, I don't like that. Well, okay. Well, you make yours with Jack then. Uh, whatever you want to do. Anyway, to keep your bread from getting soggy, is you put the meat on top, melt the cheese, and then finish with the uh, the the sauerkraut. And then we'll put the the special sauce on top of this, and 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 it'll be great. All right, we'll show you. We'll be back. Okay, I call this my salad mander. I saw these things in restaurants, and this this thing it, it works just like they just, just like they said it would. It's a I don't know who makes it. Brer Brer Real. Okay, hey, look at this thing. Look at that. Look at that. Adam, you poor boy. I know you don't like to cook. Damn, this is good. All right, we'll be back. You know I am right now. Just toasting the top, the top halves of these Rubens and this salad mander. Anyway, it's convection oven. All right, we'll be back. Yeah, sometimes people think that the old big daddy must grill don't know how to be doing stuff, but I'm telling you right now, we got we got some sauerkraut going on here. We're gonna have the the look at this poor dog. She's it. Eating up a celery tonight, so she's in a vegetarian mood. She ain't getting none of this. Anyway, look at that. Oh, I don't do Swiss cheese on my Rubens. Well, whatever you do, you put it on whatever you want. Anyway, we're gonna do some uh, some uh, sauerkraut. We got these breads here. We toasted, and all you gotta do is you keep the dry meat on on the bottom of that sandwich, and it won't never get it won't never get soggy. Well, anyway, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We'll be back. Okay, we're, this is it. We're ending up with, with just these a couple of gorgeous Rubens here. With all you've you've seen how it was done. It's even got Swiss cheese on it. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go eat now. This <laughs> this poor dog, she's starving to death. Bless her. You know she's I don't know, about ninety five, one hundred five years old. She can't hardly see anymore. But anyway, we've had her twelve years. All right, y'all take care. This is how you do it. We'll be back, but not tonight. Okay. Here's Musk Grills Deli. I think it took a couple of bites. He ain't got the old Cheetos in here. You do what you want. Mm. Got them jalapeno Cheetos. All right. This is it. We'll be back, but not tonight.